What's up guys, Justin here with TheRealTimeEssentials.com In today's video we're going to check out how to quickly add snow as particles inside of Unity. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so snow is probably about the easiest particle system you can make. So it's probably a good start for um, your first particle system. So what we want to do is we want to start by adding our particles, right? So we're just going to right click over here in our hierarchy. We're going to go down to effects and we want to add a particle system. So we're going to bring the system in and let's go ahead and let's bring it back closer to our camera. So we're going to bring this over and actually I think you can do a control shift F in order to do that. All right, so now we've got our particle system in our corner here and we need to start adjusting the way that our particles look. So what we want to do is we want to start by going by selecting our particle system and going into the particle system settings. So I've got my particle system selected and we're going to make some changes to the settings. I will link to a video down below where I talked a little more in depth about the particle system settings. But the first thing we want to do is right now, this is just kind of like shooting particles out, right? Like in all different directions. What we want to do is we want to start by, we don't want this to shoot this out and give these any initial velocity. So we want to go into our particle system and set our start speed to zero right here. So then this is just going to kind of generate those particles in a 3D space, but they're not actually being affected by the gravity in the scene. So we need to go in and we need to turn our gravity modifier to one. And so when we do that, what that's going to do is now those objects are going to fall inside of our scene. And so the first thing is these are kind of big, right? Like they're, they're kind of big for snowflakes. So we want to adjust the size of these objects. And so all we're going to do here is just bring our start size down and maybe like 0.15 or something like that. We basically want these to be little spheres falling in our scene, right? So these are now falling inside of our scene. But um, there's a few things that are a little weird about this. Like first off, these are just kind of like popping into a random 3D space at all different heights. And we don't really want that. So what we want to do is we want to change the shape that these are being emitted from. Notice how right now this is set to emit as a cone. Well, instead of having this emit as a cone, what I want to do instead is I want to go in and I want to set this to maybe like a box. So if I set this to a box, then notice how now these are all going to come out of this box shape. And I'm gonna go ahead and set my box rotation back to zero, 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 like this. But then what we can do is we can adjust the size of the shape that these are coming out of, right? So right now, what I wanna do, um, first off, I'm gonna move this over a little bit, is I'm gonna take this box and I'm gonna scale the Y value down like this so it's kind of flat. Um, because what I want to be able to do is basically set the area that these are coming out of. But then I'm also going to adjust my X value like this and my Z value like this just by dragging this. And so we could either, we're going to put these right here for now, but we may move these out into our hallway in a second. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and keep working. So at the moment, notice how we're not getting a lot of snow, right? We're getting kind of like sporadic snow. Well, we can get more snow in here by adjusting your emission settings. So notice how right now this is set to a rate over time of 10, meaning it's going to emit 10 particles per second. However, if we were to bump this up to like 50, notice how I'm going to get a lot more particles. And you can bump this up to as many as you want. Just remember the more particles you have in your scene, the um, harder this is going to work. And so let's say we were to set this to like a thousand, right? Well, notice how nothing so what's going to happen is you're going to get a whole bunch of snow falling at once and then it's going to stop. And so the reason it's going to stop is because our particle system is currently set to a max particles of a thousand. So it just makes a thousand particles and then stops so that you don't create so many that it bogs down your computer. Now we don't want our rate over time to be a thousand. We want to set it to maybe like a hundred or something like that. We may even make it a little bit less, but one thing that you can do if your particles start disappearing, like if they're not sticking around very long, is you can adjust the number of maximum particles that the system can make inside of your particle system settings. But for now, let's go ahead and let's put this on like 55 or 50 um, for the moment. And let's go ahead and set this so these aren't falling through our floor anymore. Um, so they're falling through our floor. And what we want to do is we, we want to scroll down and we want to find the option for collision. And we want to turn collision on because what we want is we want these to fall and then hit the ground right here. And so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to change our planes type to world. And so as soon as we change this to world, what's going to happen is these are going to fall down and they're going to actually interact with your world 
right here. Now, that's a bit of a problem because what they're doing is they're bouncing, right? They're hitting the ground and they're bouncing almost like they're a bunch of like gumballs or something like that. Well, what we can do instead is we can set the bounce in here to zero like this. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna make those fall and kind of stick to the ground. Now, one thing we wanna do though is these can when they hit the ground, and they're not doing it very much right now, but they can, if they have any like sideways movement, they can roll. And we don't want them to roll, so we wanna go ahead and set the dampen to one. And so when we set the dampen to one, what that means is that means when they hit the ground, the ground is going to make them stop rolling. So now we've got our snow kind of falling in one place. And this is kind of where we wanna move this out into our corridor a little bit so we can see the effect a little bit better. And so notice how when your collision is on, this gets a lot slower to adjust these. So sometimes I'll toggle collision off when I'm making this adjustment so I can do more of like a live adjustment in here. But I'm gonna set my, my uh, Z value to something wider. So basically the whole width of this open space right here. So I'm gonna set my Z value to something wider like this. And then we're gonna toggle our collision back on right here. So that means that now the snow is going to fall and it's going to stick to the ground like this. So it's basically doing what we want it to do. Um, and then from there, it's just kind of a question of fine tuning this, right? So for example, do you want more snow? Then you can go in and you can turn your emission rate up. Remember that you do need to turn your max particles up as well though. Otherwise, these may not stick around very long. So notice how they dis disappear kind of quickly. So I might set my max particles up to maybe like 1500 or something like that. So just so I can get a few more particles in here. And again, notice how when I do this, it's getting slower the more particles I add. The other thing we can do is if you think this is falling too uniform, what you can do is you can add a little bit of noise to the particle movement. So if you go into the noise setting right here and add noise, notice how you're gonna start getting a little bit more side to side movement. So these are gonna be a little bit crazier. Right now, depending on the amount of wind that you want to see um, in your scene, you can adjust this um, to make these stronger or weaker. So for example, what I could do is I could bring the strength down to like 0.25 or maybe even a little bit less um, in order to get that kind of like gently blowing look that snow gets when it's actually falling. So now if we look at what we've created, notice how we're getting our snow falling right here, we're getting a little bit of sideways movement and we're getting this kind of like nice snow effect. And so if we had our camera set up to look at this space and click on play, notice how our snow is falling inside of our scene just like this. So you can use this in order to quickly create a snow effect and you could still come back in here and make adjustments to these too. So for example, let's say you wanted them to be a little bit larger. You could also come in here and set your start size to maybe like 0.25 instead of 0.15 in order to get bigger flakes. All right, so now if we move our camera forward and we click play, notice how you're gonna get this nice falling snow effect inside of your scene. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know what kind of particle effects you'd like to see. I've got some more on the list already, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on it as well. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.